Hi, this is Christian, and welcome to NFL Updates Express, your weekly dose of NFL news. Coming your way, week one predictions. The NFL season is back. Can you believe it? It's a great kickoff game between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Super Bowl champion New England Patriots. Now, the big news in this one is that Tom Brady, after all season it looked like, well, all off season, I should say, that it looked like he wouldn't play. But after the ruling that Brady could play, now it's looking like the Patriots could be a dominant force this year. The Steelers, on the other hand, didn't get so lucky as Martavis Bryant and their star running back, Le'Veon Bell, will not be suiting up for the Patriots game. So it'll be tough for them to get any offense going. But the bright side for the Steelers is that the Patriots lost a lot of defensive stars in the offseason, so maybe Antonio Brown can get things going for the Steelers. But at the end of the day, I think at Gillette Stadium, the Patriots' home crowd around them, off the shoulders of Deflategate, the Patriots will win the game. Dylan's prediction is the New England Patriots. It's the Baltimore Ravens as they take on Peyton Manning and the Denver Broncos. Now, this game will be very fun to watch with the running backs in action. C.J. Anderson for the Broncos, Justin Forsett for the Baltimore Ravens. For the Broncos, it will be interesting to see Peyton Manning after another playoff loss, this time to his former team, the Indianapolis Colts, and he'll be looking to redeem himself. And I don't think he'll have the 55 touchdowns that he had a couple of seasons ago, but, you know, maybe if he could get about 40, that'd be a successful season for Manning. Demarius Thomas will need to step up against this Ravens secondary, and I think he will. But the biggest X factor for Denver will be Owen Daniels, their recently acquired tight end from Baltimore, of course. For the Ravens, on the other hand, well, they need to get their running game established. Lorenzo Taliaferro, in addition to, obviously, Forsett, will be the key. If they can get some help from Steve Smith Sr., the Ravens could pull it out, but I think Denver Broncos have this one in the bag. Dylan's prediction is the Denver Broncos. It's a great matchup in Qualcomm Stadium when the Detroit Lions take on the San Diego Chargers. Now out of all the games I had to predict, I would say this one is probably the toughest with a few others mixed in there. The Lions and Chargers both have great offenses with the Lions leading the way. You have Matthew Stafford, Golden Tate, of course Calvin Johnson, but the big person to look out here for, not Joink Bell the running back, even though he should have a big factor at the goal line, but you know what I'm going to say, Amir Abdullah, the rookie. He looked explosive in the preseason, and I think he'll have a great game against the Chargers. But the Chargers, well, they have a rookie running back of their own, with Melvin Gordon ready to take the field for his first regular season game. And it should be a fun time to watch both rookie running backs in action, and if you have them on your fantasy team, well... I think you're in store for a great game for both running backs. Overall, this game will come down to the quarterbacks Stafford and Rivers, and whichever one steps up will get the job done. But overall, I'll take the home team Chargers for the W. Dylan's prediction is the Detroit Lions. In our final spotlight game of the week, it's the Minnesota Vikings as they take on the San Francisco 49ers. Now, the Vikings, well, they've got a lot of hype coming into them for this season, and many people are are expecting a playoff berth, with I don't know, that's kind of a lofty expectation for them. But the Vikings, well, they have a lot of new things going for them, with Teddy Bridgewater entering his second season after a nice rookie season, Adrian Peterson coming back from his suspension, and also they have a new addition, Mike Wallace, on the offensive side of the ball. So it'll be very fun to watch the Vikings this year. But the 49ers, while well, a lot of people are thinking they're going to be one of the worst teams in the league. But just think about it. They're just a couple seasons removed from a Super Bowl. And even though their roster is totally different, they still have the quarterback that got them there, Colin Kaepernick. And I think that the 49ers will shock a couple of teams that don't take them as seriously as they probably should. And now we'll start this game. Yeah, you heard it right. The 49ers will beat the Vikings on Monday Night Football. Dylan's prediction is the San Francisco 49ers.
NFL at this point, no one probably cares about preseason week four at this point. But hey, that's the job that I'm not getting paid for. So let's look at the scores for preseason week four. So it was the Panthers over the Steelers, 23 to six. The Bears over the Browns, 24 to nothing. The Buccaneers over the Dolphins, 22 to 17. The Bengals over the Colts, 9 to six. The Falcons over the Ravens, 20 to 19. The Packers over the Saints, 38 to 10. The Jets over the Eagles, 24 to 18. The Jaguars over the Redskins, 17 to 16. The Lions over the Bills, 17 to 10. The Giants over the Patriots, 12 to 9. The Cowboys over the Texans, 21 to 14. The Titans over the Vikings, 24 to 17. The Chiefs over the Rams, 24 to 17. The Cardinals over the Broncos, 22-20, the 49ers over the Chargers, 14-12, and the Seahawks over the Raiders, 31-21.